Hey everyone, so uh, President Trump was in South Florida on October 7th having a memorial for the tragedy that happened last year in Israel on October 7th, marking the, the one year anniversary. Uh, I was actually there personally. They invited uh, a group of uh, Jewish leaders uh, in the area. I attended for the sake of the memorial. And at the memorial, aside from the chairs that were there for the participants, they also had many empty chairs, one empty chair for each of the hostages that are still being ha uh, held captive by Hamas that were taken on October 7th last year. And it was a very uh, nice and well done memorial service, uh, exactly what you would expect and i want to share with i want to show you the president's words and i can kind of give you some of the the background of what was going on uh being actually there in person maybe different than what you may see on the news check this out here at home i will defend our american jewish population i will protect your communities your schools your places of worship and your values we will remove the jihadist sympathizers and Jew haters. We're going to remove the Jew haters who do nothing to help our country. They only want to destroy our country. And we will never let the horrors of October 7th be repeated here on American soil. We will not let that happen. And we will solve the problem that we have. If you look at what happened just two days ago in New York City, I couldn't believe it. I said, it's starting all over again. The level of violence was as bad as it was last summer. If we can achieve all of that, we can really make sure that those who perished on October 7th will not have died in vain. They can not have died in vain. You cannot let that happen. With God's help, their sacrifice will have given way to a safer Jewish homeland, a stronger state of Israel, a more secure America, and at long last, we will have achieved the dream of some generations. We are going to make this, we are going to turn this, and you can never say a total positive because all of those people that have died, but we're going to turn this into something where they can be proud of what's happened. They can say, we sacrificed our lives for something very special. Uh, there has to be unity. There has to be peace. There has to be strength. We need so many qualities. We need every single quality. We're going to bring it all together, and we will have peace in the Middle East. We will have strength and resilience, and we will have a very powerful and strong Israel, and I will be with you all the way. Yeah, and um, kudos for President Trump for making this memorial service and for saying what he does and for his constant staunch support of what's going on in Israel. And um, so on the news, I, I was watching to see what, how it was going to be reported. And certain news organizations were saying, well, the crowd gave uh, mixed reviews. They gave uh, applause and boos. The only boos that were there were when President Trump mentioned the current administration, which many feel have not been staunchly enough behind Israel and have not confronted anti-Semitism in a, in a way that... Uh, at home and the college campuses in particular. One of the things that I've noticed among many folks in the Jewish community, no matter what their political affiliation, is a lot of people in the Jewish community feel a bit politically homeless right now. Because on the one hand, they may have never voted for a Republican in their entire life. And on the other hand, feel that the best route for uh, anti-Semitism, combating anti-Semitism at home and standing staunchly behind Israel uh, overseas is something that is going to be done by President Trump and his administration. There's a young man, Shabbos Kastenbaum. Uh, I don't know if you, any of you have seen him, but he says very strongly and passionately, he's a college student over at Harvard. He's suing Harvard for their lack of involvement in, in protecting their students. And he says, I disagree with President Trump on almost everything. I would vote for the Green New Deal. And he lists a whole series of things that he would not be in line, but he says that I'm going to be voting for President Trump because he's strongest on combating anti-Semitism at home and being a defender of Israel abroad.
Love to know what you think about this. Does anybody else feel that they are politically sort of in limbo right now or politically homeless, don't know who to vote for or what to vote for? Uh, I'd love to hear about that in the comments. Feel free to, uh, to, to write to us. But uh, that is my view and my takeaway from actually being there in person. People felt very strong and very confident about President Trump's not only support of Israel, but support in combating anti-Semitism at home. Again, love to hear what you think. If you enjoyed this content, feel free to hit that uh, subscribe button in the corner and uh, love to speak with all of you soon.